Hey YouTube, it's Laura Whitmore with Strategic Test Prep, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, my son, Sinan. Sinan, how old are you? Six. Oh, six years old, that's right. I should know that, I'm your mom. And <laughs> have you taken an SAT test yet? No. No, thankfully Sinan's a little young, but Sinan, we're gonna talk to high school students right now across the country about the August SAT, because they went in and took it on Saturday. What do you think about that? That's gonna be a little scary. I know, it is a little scary. So we wanna hear from you. Go ahead and um, comment below and let me know what you thought about the August SAT. Was it hard? Was it easy? What section did you struggle on? What section did you think was easy? Did you run out of time? I would love to hear your thoughts on the test. I'm gonna share with you in this video what my students said about the August SAT. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, especially if you're prepping for another test, because I'm gonna to continue to put out videos to give you tips and tricks so you can be successful. So I texted my students that I worked with the day after the test to hear what they thought about it. So I'm gonna go through some of them. I had one student say that it went well and she felt that the writing section was the easiest and that the math section three was the hardest for her. Um, this is kind of unique. I didn't really hear that perspective from anybody else. Um, but overall, I was happy to hear that she felt confident after working with me. So I'm curious if any of you guys agreed with her on that stance. I had another student tell me that section one was the hardest for him. And that was because there was two old passages on section one, which happens sometimes. So there was an old fiction, which is your first passage. And then there was another old passage from the 1920s. So I could understand why he may have felt that he struggled on that one more since the old ones are harder. However, he said that the other sections were pretty easy and all of the math concepts we covered together were on it, which was awesome. That belief was reinforced with another girl that I spoke with. She told me she knew everything on the math because we covered it all in our sessions, which was really awesome. She said two passages on the English gave her trouble, which was just like what the other guy said that I worked with. And I think it's the same reason that there was two old passages on this test. So the reading section was a little bit more difficult. I had another student say she thought she did really well. She felt one passage on the, the reading was difficult. My guess is it was the 1920s passage on women. She's really strong in fiction and probably did well on the fiction, even though it was an older fiction. Another student of mine in her particular room, the proctor messed up on the writing section and told them time was up before it was, which is super annoying. Just to anticipate you're gonna have those hiccups when you go into the test. I took a test one time down in West Palm Beach, Florida, and the band was practicing outside and all the windows are open. It was terrible. So not everything is gonna go smoothly all the time. Just don't let it rattle you. The, the bright news was she said the math was easy like everybody else was saying, which makes me feel like I did my job really well covering all the math with them. This last student said that he thought he did pretty well on all of it and he felt really comfortable, which is awesome. At the end of the day, I feel like when you prep with a coach, it really does help you to feel more prepared and ready to go. And it made me feel really happy to hear that my students went in there and felt confident and felt comfortable with the test. That being said, I've decided to create an online course to let it be accessible to all of you guys out there. The online course is based on my in-person SAT workshops that I do. So if you're interested, I will link it above right now and also in the description box below. Go ahead and just register for Moodle and you can sign up for my online SAT course. I love this course because it's a six week program and you can talk with people all across the world as you work through the modules together. So it'll teach you all the tips and tricks you need to be successful on all portions of the test, English and math. If you feel like you only need work in one area, the English or the math, I would suggest doing all the modules anyways because there's always room for improvement, even if you feel stronger in one. I messed up. I'm glad you messed up. How come? There was a little hair right here. I couldn't hold it for much longer. Okay, let's get that. Now, as far as, you know, the students thinking the math is easier, let me know if you thought the math was easier too. If you if everyone thinks the math is easier, the conversion chart for scoring the math sections is gonna be a little less forgiving. So it might be more difficult to get a perfect score on the math, or you might not get as high of a score if you miss the same amount of questions as on another test. So I'm curious, did my students just think it was easy because I prepped them well, or was it an easier test? Let me know. And anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks guys for watching. Next week, I'll have another video with more tips and tricks for you. So have a great week and see you again soon. Bye. Wanna wave goodbye? <laughs>